Hey everybody, Ethan here, and you're on my side of the room. And today I want to talk about commitment. And I've recently decided it's time to just go all in on the bass. And to that end, I'm going to sell off my guitars. And it's just, I never thought that this day would come that I would actually do that. Uh, I've had my acoustic since the 90s. And I always intended that I would play gigs with it. And it's just not going to happen. And it's okay. I'm not giving up. I'm not like saying music sucks and I'm not going to do anything. It's not where I'm, that's not what this is about. I love playing the bass. I get so much joy playing the bass that I just, I've never felt this way about guitar. And I've always wanted to, and I never did. And committing gets you in the mindset of, I love this so much, I want to get better at this. I want to learn more, I want to do more, I want to excel as best as I can. You know, maybe not be Jocko or whatever, but that's fine, like few people are. But, I don't, I haven't learned the guitar beyond what I call the campfire level. And I'm not interested in learning more than that. I, I play well enough to be able to say that I play the guitar, like again, at a campfire level, but hey, it's still, I'm not lying on my resume when I say I play the, the guitar, just not well. Uh, but, They just, it needs to go. There isn't room in my life for the guitars anymore. And that's holding me back. And one of the things that's holding me back from is working with other people who play guitar, in this case, better than I do. So that's something to think about, especially if you're a songwriter, especially if you're like me and like you've had that mindset of like, I've got to do it all myself because it's, it's the only way I can explain my vision of what this song sounds like to people. That's just, it's bull. And it really came driven home to me today. It's, it's still Sunday yet as I film this. And I had had my weekly gig today. And I was talking to the guest vocalist. And she gigs all over town. And uh, we were talking about just music, this and that. And I was saying that, yeah, I write songs and some have come easier than others. And I was trying to explain how they went. I said, yeah, this one song I'm really struggling with. I'm still in the process of writing, but it's just, it's not, I'm taking two separate songs, I think, and trying to mash them together in ways that maybe it's genius or I'm just bashing two things together that don't belong together. That's oil and water. And it's not genius at all. And I sang each individual part for her, like, so concept A and concept B. And uh, she's like, yeah, I just, from what you sang, I, I hear it in my head and I hear what you're going with. So it's like, you know what, then I don't need the guitar anymore. I just don't. And that's what I'm talking about. That... I didn't have my bass on me when we were talking. We were just talking one-on-one. -on -one. So I used the one instrument I had, and that was my voice. And she, in turn, is a singer, and she can process the information I was giving her on a one-to-one -one basis that she, she got, right? <laughs> and so in examining my reasons for why I have things, the guitar is it's, it's nostalgia is what it is. It's, I've had it, like the, the ovation, I've had it since the 90s. I've always had that feeling, oh, well, one day I'll play the gig with this and all that, but it can't be the reason to cling to it. Um, and people are probably like saying, yeah, but you know, it's a good thing to have around. Well, so are band-aids, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, in this instance, if you're gonna commit, commit. You know what I mean? And, and in so doing, cut out the things that don't fit into that. And it can be really hard. Believe me, I'm struggling my ass off over here. 
but I'm working through it. And that's why I keep making iterations of this same video to get it shorter and shorter and get to the flipping point. And the point is, if you're going to commit, commit and cut out what doesn't fit that. And I don't want to come off as like really aggressive, like, you know, I'm all in your face, like, hey, man. But that's, it's, that's how worked up I am about this decision. And it's, it's been, again, a very difficult decision, but a necessary one. But I really, truly, deeply believe not only is it the right decision, but it's going to pay off so much better in the coming year. That I'm not going to have that clutter, the physical clutter of it being here, like just taking up space. Showing the universe I'm not ready for the new thing. And the new thing in this instance would be working with other people. Because I have this already. I have this and I don't need you. That's the message. And... That's the wrong message. It's the wrong message to them, and it's the wrong message to me. So that's that's what I'm getting at, and that's that's my passionate drive here. So <laughs> you listen to me, <laughs> but you know, I mean, tough love, I guess. What can I say? And again, really aimed at myself. I mean, I don't want to like bark at the camera any more than I already do. But I just, if there's someone else out there that has the same situation as I do, where it's like, you know, they write songs, as in you write songs, you've been going out, you bought all this gear because you want to, like, you're going to make your own demo and you're going to, like, do it all to, to sell your vision to people. You don't have to do that. And it has nothing to do with today's technology. It just has everything to do with, you know, you can, you can explain yourself with less than you thought you needed for people to get what you want. And again, give them the space to surprise you with how they can make it better. So that's, that's my message. I'm going to cut it there just because anything else is just going to be rambling and you're not, you don't want to hear that. So let's, let's just not. So keep learning, keep playing. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.